Good morning, everybody. I am heading out to meet uh, an old friend of mine. We are heading over to the Pigeon River Forest area, and we are going to hike and backpack camp the Shingle Mill Pathway. Um, let me know in the comments below if you've ever hiked the Shingle Mill Pathway before, uh, what your thoughts are on it. Also, if you are watching the video and you like it, hit the like button. That would be fantastic. And uh, if you're not a subscriber and you want to subscribe, I mainly post hiking videos here. There are some videos of some art that I do. Um, there's a couple videos about um, discussions about health and nutrition and kind of my journey there with that, uh, if you will. But uh, for the most part, it's these types of videos. And uh, so I'd love to have you come along and do that as well. If you watch the video, and you're like, I think I want to check out the Shingle Mills Pathway. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you have any questions about anything that you experienced here, go ahead and put those in there as well. I try to stay active in the comments and uh, reply when I can. So anyways, here we go. video of the Sturgeon River, Sturgeon Mill Pathway or whatever is much different than ours. So there's, there's a few different loops. Of yeah. This is one of them. This is the field. Wow, this is pretty. He marked this red pine during the original land survey of Michigan on June 17, 1850. At the time, it was measured eight inches in diameter. And in 2019, when the sign was placed, it's a hundred inch diameter. Figure out a way into my leg. If we get out of this alive without a tick, I'll be shocked. So we want to go to nine, which means we want to take the 10 mile loop. Push it down. Should have been filming you. Yeah. Where are we at? The bridge. The bridge to the River Kwai. Oh.
Uh, we camped on the west side of Grass Lake last night and you saw the campsite here, but just a fair, just a tip for anybody that wants to do this trail, right? You can go, you can camp on this west side, nice, perfect spot. But if you go down a couple hundred feet, you're gonna come to a little bridge and a creek and you can get fresh water from there, which you can see in the video as well. So don't get water from the lake, you don't have to. There's a nice crystal clear stream ahead and uh, use that. So there's a pro tip from us uh, for the Shingle Mill Pathways Trail. Oh, Sandy, baby. Oh. Over there, I think, aren't we? Yeah, we're up there. 